Seaport City, don't play. <laughs> Seaport City, don't play no games. <laughs> I'll play any games. Yeah, I'll stop playing the games. I just want to be friends. <laughs> I'm doing karaoke after this, if anyone wants to come. <laughs> what are you doing, Gary? Okay, cool, cool. I'm really bad at singing, though. I'm like very bad at singing. And I know that. Like, who cares, right? But sometimes there are moments where I'm like, wait, wait, am I actually like really fucking good at singing? <laughs> How has no one ever told me this? I'll just be alone in my room, high out of my mind. <laughs> I'll be like, strumming my pain with his fingers. Ooh, yeah. Guys, that clapping, that's exactly what I hear in my head. <laughs> oh. Not bad, not bad, Ellie. Okay. Okay, the bridge is coming. You can do this. Two, three, four. One time, one time, one time. <laughs> Every single day, I go back and forth between insecure and confident at a rapid pace. <laughs> Seriously, like one minute I'll be looking in the mirror thinking, oh, okay, I'm ugly. <laughs> like I'm actually the ugliest bitch who's ever lived. Like. <laughs> Why do I have one weird eye? Why is that happening? Look at the stupid vein on my forehead. I want to throw up all over myself. I'm disgusting. I don't deserve love. I'm a stupid poop slut. <laughs> and then that same day, maybe like two or three hours later, I'll be out on the street just asking a guy for directions. And the entire time he's talking to me, I'll just be thinking, <laughs> this is the luckiest day of your life, isn't it, buddy? <laughs> you never talk to a girl this hot. <laughs> it's exhausting being in here. I can tell that I'm getting older because I keep having moments where I'm like, oh, fuck. I'm turning into my mom. <laughs> It happened to me the other day when I noticed that I'm starting to text like this. <laughs> I don't even have vision problems. Just turning into my mom. I'm also totally turning into my dad because now all of a sudden I'm like abandoning everyone I love. <laughs> Crazy. Must be hereditary, you know? My dad did leave when I was really little, but it's okay. For my sake, I try to see it from a different perspective, you know? Like, yeah, okay, maybe my dad abandoned me. Or maybe I was a toxic baby and my dad has really <laughs> healthy boundaries. <laughs> It's all in how you look at things. That's what mental health TikTok is teaching me. <laughs> Just to twist things around a lot. I gotta get off mental health TikTok. I really do. Seriously. The other day, I was just walking around and the straps of my backpack were annoying me. And I kid you not, the first thought in my head was, oh, yep. I know what this is. I'm tactile sensitive slash autism. <laughs> yeah. Diagnosed myself right on the spot. Didn't even question it. It's, it's fucked up. Lately, everyone around me is getting married. Make some noise if you're married. It's okay, I think it's
is great. I actually don't have a problem with marriage. I'm, I'm just so sick of wedding invitations. I seriously have the same reaction to wedding invitations as I do to sex. I'm like, oh my god, thank you so much. I'm totally gonna come. I'm just <laughs> probably not gonna come. <laughs> a lot about sex lately. <laughs> it's okay. Can I tell you something? I kind of, part of me kind of likes fat sex. I know that's weird. But I kind of enjoy sex when I don't orgasm because I used to do a lot of theater. Um, and I like to see if I'm seriously still good at acting. <laughs> I just want to see if the four years of theater college that I'm $67,000 in debt for, <laughs> I just want to see if that amounted to anything at all. You know? So when I fake it, I don't, I don't fuck around. <laughs> I take everything that I've ever learned, and I really commit to the world. I'll just be like... Nothing's standing here. 